washing clothes, we tend to take washing machines for granted. One time when we don't take them for granted is when we're on the road looking for a place to do some laundry. Well, just an old strip mall on the outskirts of Twin Falls, Idaho. Because once in a while you gotta stop and do laundry. Yeah, on any extended road trip, stopping to wash clothes is just a fact of life. Uh, there's good stops and bad stops when it comes to finding a laundromat. <laughs> it's always nice though, when you're pulling away and your clothes are clean, it's like getting a fresh start, you know, putting clean sheets on the bunks and everything, and clean pillowcases. It's always nice. We've been in some laundromats though that weren't so nice. Uh, we stopped at one in a little town in Iowa and it was 25 cents a minute to dry. <laughs> That's where we learned to carry clothesline and clothespins that we string up in the trailer and leave the window open on the trailer to dry clothes as we drive along. Learn that lesson. Or there's the ones that you put your clothes in the dryer and put your coins in and then the dryer never heats up. <laughs> I hate that. This one's doing good though. This one's hot right now. Sometimes you get a, a really nice new laundromat, like one in St. George, at Utah that we stopped at. You put your clothes in the washing machine, then you go to a central kiosk and you put in your credit card, put in the number of the washing machine and put in exact instructions on how you want it done. And same thing for the dryer. And then you go sit at uh, comfortable bench, long benches, with ultra fast, super fast, high speed Wi-Fi like you've never seen before. That's a nice laundromat. Then there was a small laundromat. Well, you can't even call it that. It was a washer and dryer in back of a little tiny store in I think it was Austin, Nevada. And uh, that was actually one of the nicest stops. And don't forget, you could stop at motels like La Quinta's or Super 8's or whatever and go in and say, hey, I've got some laundry to do, do you mind? And because they're coin-op machines, they usually don't care. We've never been turned down. But whatever, getting your clothes washed when you're on the road is just a fact of life. Just recently, we were in Tonopah, Nevada, and we were, there's only one place to do laundry there, and that's at this old hotel, a very popular hotel casino, but it's old and run down and, and usually has a lot of people going there. Uh, I guess the food's good too. But they have a laundromat that it's, all, it's, it's for the hotel. They do all their laundry there too, but they also allow um, outsiders to come in and do laundry. They also have RV parking in the back. That's why they let um, other people come in, the RVers. Yeah. So anyways, we went and uh, we had uh, one load to do and one big load. And every machine in there, uh, maybe 17, 18, 19, 20 machines, every one was going. And uh, I could, the hotel staff only had like two machines going and somebody else had all the rest going. Well, I th and then there was a couple of big bags, big bags of laundry up against the wall, maybe three or four bags <laughs> of more of dirty clothes to be done leaning up against the wall. Well, we were the only ones in there at the time and one of the machines, washing machines, stopped. So I got the cart and I went over there and I unloaded it. And just as I'm done unloading it, this woman walks through the door. And I yeah, look- She comes around the corner. I'm standing by the door watching Rick do the work, right? <laughs> so she comes around the corner, sees this man taking out her laundry, puts her arms up like this and turns and looks at me and rolls her eyes and I thought she was just gonna just kick him. <laughs> I, I told her, I says, I says, oh, I'm sorry. I said, I didn't see anybody else here, but all the machines are full and I, I, this one was just stopped. So I, I hope you don't mind. I took your laundry out. So she takes her laundry <laughs> in the cart, goes around the aisle over to the dryers and she's putting her stuff in the dryers. Then I hear, and I'm on my phone doing comments or something, and I hear her voice from across there saying, and this isn't mine, you. And next thing, this wet sock hits me on the side of the face. <laughs> and I'm like busy doing, you know, texting and answer. And so I just calmly I don't know where the wet. I don't know where the wet sock came I from. I just calmly take the sock down and I looked at it, I recognized it as Rick's sock. So I figured he, he must have dropped one of our socks in, into her laundry. 
But she was over on that other side, and she was just mortified that she had hit some strange woman in the side of the head <laughs> with a wet sock that didn't seem to care. And um, so I, I looked at her, and she was saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I really, really, I didn't mean to hit you. And I said, yeah, you meant to hit him, right? And she just burst out laughing. And um uh, <laughs> well, I, I knew that I was still in trouble. And Linda left and she wasn't talking to me. And I heard her say something about, oh, I'm all out of quarters. And I, I told her, I says, um, I says, I have some quarters. I, and and um, then she looked at me kind of quizzically. And I told her again, um, oh, I have some quarters. And then I realized she's actually, she was deaf and she couldn't hear. She had to read lips. And uh, so I, she said, oh, no, I've got some in my purse. I'll just go get them. I got to talking to her, and she turned out to be the nicest person. She um, had just moved back to her little town after being gone for 20 years and was um, very upset with uh, how um, run down her town had become, a little tiny town. And uh, she wanted to, was telling me she wanted to run for mayor and clean it up. And anyway, she ended up telling us where a great restaurant was in town, and we ate there, and it's called the the Bank Vault? The Bank. The Bank. B-A-N-Q-E. Q-U-E. Q-U-E, yeah. yeah. And you walk in, and it's a casino, of course, and then you go through the casino, and it's this little hole in the wall, literally a hole in the wall, and uh, run by... Chinese guy and it's Chinese food so we thought turned out to be really good he's yeah. the, he's a chief cook and bottle washer the only employee he owns it and runs does everything man I haven't had was, Chinese yeah it was really good I haven't had Chinese food that good since we lived in Hawaii yeah anyways <laughs> that's our laundry story hope you enjoyed learning about laundromats on the road if you guys like the video <laughs> Please like, share, and, sub and subscribe. Oh, don't forget, on Friday, we have a, a video coming out, and it's uh, about a very spooky mine shaft. I think you're going to like to see this one. Hey. Oh. Go. What? And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that um, notification button. That's right. And we'll see you around. <laughs>